Hello and welcome back to the All Six Weekly Challenge. Main big deal is challenge number 134 and another preliminary from the US Grand Prix uh, in 2018 and it's around email dates. Okay, so let's uh, have a look at the start file. So we have tasked with finding the number of days that have elapsed from one email to another and provide the days between each email without regarding for time in chronological order according to the date. Uh, so summary of the data, you have eight emails, it looks like we have, there we go, a input file here with various um, information about each email, including the date, date there, and uh, be sure to that each email is in chronological order, do not worry about the time associated with it, good, and uh, so what we're aiming for. Okay, so we're looking to pull out the date for each email and the days in between. So, so, here. so I think date. I think we can just pull out this date field here or row. So let's just bring in a filter and contains date colon. So that will give us yeah here we go eight email dates. Perfect. So then we need to get the date out of this. So I'm thinking something straightforward, fairly easy, is we just pass it with that comma there. That should do it. Okay, so now we have the, removed the date Monday and then we've got the date here. Now we need to get rid of this. Now look here, there's a little dash at the end. I'm not sure what that means, but we can utilize that to get rid of some of this information. So if we go to field two and we do the date and the two columns and run that. Here we've removed that uh, timestamp at the end and now we need to we can convert this to a date. So we bring in the um, string to date uh, we'll find the right field we're doing it on this 21 just click on here we can see this 21 field and uh, we'll do a custom one so it's day space capital M month year space and then hour colon minute colon second okay so that just brings it in as a date so let's uh, run that we now this take date time out and it's a real date you can see here. So now we just have to convert that to a date without the minutes and hours. So we can do that by using a select. And we can get rid of all these other fields we don't actually need anymore and we can just change that from date time to date. That should just give us it as a date. There we go. Date. Next step is to sort this we want it to be in ascending order that gives us a nice sort here and then we also want to then work out the difference between the dates in days so the field we're looking for is days from last email okay so days from last email and we want to create a in the date functions date time diff Click on that and the first variable is the date time out and the second one is the date time out from the row above and we want that in days okay and then we'll just stick a browse at the end of that and see if that matches what we have here Okay, we've got one extra column, let's get rid of that. Select. Don't need this one anymore. That should do us. There you go. Match on the data. Oh, they've got a capital L and E, but that's not to worry. Everything else matches nicely. Thank you very much for watching. See you again next time.